y'all doing again? Back in the old dirty barn, and boy, it's dirty. Hard to, hard to find time to come out here to do anything, and cleaning's not on the priority list sometimes, but it's, uh, you know, it's going to have to happen here for too long. But anyhow, <clears throat> you saw in the last video where I was bragging how I had no rust holes up here, right? Well, now I got a hole I can put my arm through. I jinxed myself. Did a little grind, grind, grinding and cleaning and saw some, you know, little pits. I, well, I can weld those up. Shined the light through the fender well and I saw light shining up through here. It's pretty hard to fix, so, well, let's just say I was fed up with it, trying to, trying to spot weld it and fix it. And, just cut it out. I'm gonna make a new piece. Well, I'm gonna show you how that turned out. First, I wanted to kind of give out a, a shout out and a thank you. And my friend Pete had posted one of my videos on his Facebook, and I woke up this morning and had, I don't know, 10 or 15 more subscribers and a bunch of comments and all that. And, and that, that, uh, that seems pretty fun to me. I, I do this because it's fun, but it's a lot more fun when. And there's more people that are interested that say say really good things and kind of the hillbilly stuff I do you know is is I've worked hard at, at learning this stuff and screwing it up and learning from what I screwed up so I'm I'm, I'm pretty proud of stuff that I've done and I appreciate uh, the people I've learned from so you know uh, my friend Pete my buddy Mike Myers, he's not on YouTube. He probably should be. He'd be hilarious. Uh, and Mike, if you're, hopefully you're, you're feeling better and doing better, I'll, I'll hit you up on the on the punching box here the next couple days. See you and check on you. Uh, you know, Cold War Motors, great channel. Uh, it's a lot of content. I wish I wish I had I wish I had more time to make more videos, and I just don't. Um, so for now, you know, it, it is what it is, but Fitzy's Fabrications, that's another good one. Um, you know, I'll, uh, I'll do a shout out. I'll put some links for some video channels that I like to watch down in the description of this video. And as far as this video goes, uh, I think, you know, I usually get a couple hours to several hours a weekend. Um, sometimes a little bit through the week, which is how I started this. Uh, just snuck out here, you know, for a couple hours and accomplished a lot. I'm, I'm going to try to put a video out for you guys about once a week, uh, you know. Uh, and some of them are shorter, some are longer. I kind of think I ramble on too much, like I'm doing now. But hey, you know, if you guys have ideas, and you know, I don't have the best lighting, I don't have the best facility, I don't have the best tools, I just pretty much do what I want. Uh, I do a lot of other stuff working on cars and I've got projects down the road actually three um, interesting projects I'd like to do videos of uh, you know I, I, I do a lot so not just this um, I wish it was just this but so anyway hang out hang out with me I like I like uh, I, I hang, hanging out with you guys once in a while when I have a chance and I'll show you how I made that right I'm going to turn you off here, turn you back on, get you a little closer, get your peepers in here and see what's up. Give me a second. Oh yeah, check out the shirt. You like that? I've got a bunch of them. So, as you can see, you can kind of see where I started trying to tack in my little rust holes and there's the bottom of the of where I originally saw holes down here. These these round holes were spot welds. That went there. All right, and that's what I cut out. I flattened it out with my boot on the on the barn floor like I always do, and you can kind of see where the cracks and all, or the metal just was so thin, you know. So it was a it was a good deal that I did this. Of course, here's our bracket that goes on top. 
And to think about now, I'm going to show you how I do the other side a little bit different. I uh, drilled all the spot welds out, and that's okay, but I've put myself into a lot of, a lot of extra work, I believe. So anyway, you see the drain. That drain hole up there for the rear cowl, whenever the windshield leaks or anything like that, water goes in, and it just sits. That bracket holds all this crap, and it just sits and rots. Uh, but I think on this side, a little darker here, this is a similar thing, spot welded here, spot welded here. I think what I'll do is just cut it right off right here. When I get done uh, fixing this one, I'll just butt weld it back on and you'll still see the, the original spot welds. I think it'll look nicer. But hey, that's the things I screw up and learn from. Now, what do I do with it? All right. So I cut a flat piece of sheet metal thinking, well, I might have to make that out of two pieces. And here's what I come up with. I can, I can do this with one hand. I'll show you how it really turned out pretty nice. It needs a little bit of, you know, trimming and a little bit of finessing. Just the top of it sticking up just a little bit. Um, but that's it. All I did was use my body hammer and the ball hitch. You see where it's nice and shiny. All right. Doesn't take much. Tap, 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 tap. We might have a cameraman in here, uh, here in a little bit, and I'll show you. I'll get to get that top of that back down. Just a little bit. My camera batteries are dying, so there's the three tools. Body hammer, piece of pipe, ball hitch. We'll get back with you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, hold Steve. On. Hold on, Steve. I didn't fix my hair. Oh, yeah, there's, okay, there yeah, go. okay, you're good now. Yeah, we're ready. All right, all right. You're going to play cameraman? I'm going to play cameraman. You've been following along with this project a little bit. Yep. off and on and and you're you know you're into learning stuff and you're learning me a thing or two learning you a thing or two <laughs> all right well what i'm going to do i'm going to have you hold the, the camera so i can kind of no you hold the camera oh, okay you're holding the camera for right i now. got it all right <clears throat> so see this right here just keep her centered we're gonna we're gonna test out your your uh your uh camera making steel skills so you know you see all the little bumps right every little bump in there is every time i've hit this mm -hmm. so every time you hit a piece of metal on something round or really even something flat you spread it out and that's what you're doing um all this was made from doing this right i didn't bend it over my knee or nothing because the thing is instead of just going this way it also goes this way so I could bend it over my knee, but then it would be flat. It would be flat, you know. So since this part I know needs to go down a little bit more, I'm just going to... a little bit so I don't like that too much kind of square it off a little bit a lot of times you you move your metal then you flatten it out you move your metal and flatten it out
Let's check it for fit. You do a lot of this back and forth. Can you get in there and see? Oh, she's sniffing your butt. But you liked it. Oh, stop. I'm being the camera guy right now. Yeah. So it needs to go down just a little bit more. Yeah. Right? So I know that I need to come back here and get that to fold over. It's a lot closer than it was. It's really close. But anyway, we'll, we'll doll that up. Yeah. Basically mark it off, get her welded in, grind it up. And uh, there we go. Nice. All right. Give me the dang camera. Okay, yes sir. Got you. All right, well it is the next day. Things go sideways on Saturday nights sometimes. Eh, you know, it's how it is around here. Did get this accomplished. Got her piece all tacked in there. We're gonna get her, get her finished welded and ground down, get our bracket put back into place. And I'll show you basically the full scale of what this is like. But over here, a couple little holes there. Need to remove that bracket, get her handled. First, we're going on a little field trip. We're going to need a couple of utensils if I can, in fact, find them. Well, they're here somewhere. I'll show you. We're going to take a spin in the Cadillac down the road. And, uh, huh. Got everything that I'm not looking for. All right. Hit you back in a sec. All right. Got what we need. Remote engine switch. One timing light. This all gonna fit in the box. Dwell meter. And a second time in light, because I'm not sure which one works and which one doesn't. So let's jump in this Cadillac. Project I've got a one ton dump bed, bringing some gravel in. As you can see, this winter we had a little issue. There's my other weekly project, and that's just a small part of it, the grass. There's the garden. We'll be getting that done up here for too long. And that's a daily, a daily project. Yes. Enough yakking. Oops, I forgot a light. Dang it. All right. Let's get out of town. Or out of the yard, anyway. We'll go from there. Cadillac ain't been out for a while. She's pretty dirty. <clears throat> Haven't started it in oh, a month and a half, I suppose. Oh, new plates. Well, We'll just pretend we didn't see that for now. Give her a couple good pumps. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not too bad. Get the garage shut up, get the house locked up. We'll see you over at Scuba's. See what he's got going on for a project. Give him a hand. scuba yes me a little tuning situation kind of hard kind of hard to tune when the engine's not even together the, the engine's not together <sighs> that's scuba for you yeah give me a sub looking for that little piece of that fell down yeah. we'll get back with you later once we get to where we we're supposed to be oh there it is found it Assembly. Maybe that'll went too far. Let's see what I put here. Removal. Mission. I figured it had like a. Um, yeah, you should have. Like a like a list of like different. Yeah. Okay, that's down to like wiring and stuff. Go back to the beginning. Yeah. Look at specifications. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a thing that Specifications. All the way back. back. Ah, here we go. Chassis electrical, fuel tank, transmission. What timing and all that? Yeah. Engine electrical. Okay. Ignition. That's your resistor. That's for your. You want. Okay, so it's the timing. 30, 31 to 34. 34. And you're at? 37, you said, right? Yeah, I believe that. There's six cylinders on the bottom, so you're uh, 37, 38. This is a few too high. And I don't think these have adjustable points. We'll get in there and see. Okay. Right here. Try this one, Mike. Well, it's going to be as good as it gets till Scuba gets you a new distributor. The vacuum advance is leaking anyway, so we've got that blocked off. And it's running pretty good. Yeah, a lot better than it was. So you ready to go on your van trip? I'm ready. You better get some cardboard to sleep on. 
I got an air mattress we're gonna blow up in the back there. Okay, put put it on top of the cardboard to keep you from poking holes with the rust in your air mattress. You got three of them and yeah. deploy me. No need that. Alright. We're out of here. I'm going back to my Cadillac. I mean my Chevrolet. In my Cadillac. Alright. Back on my project. That's Scuba Steve. He's a good kid. And just, you know, I guess when I was that age, I was kind of, you know, kind of silly myself. I couldn't have been that kind of silly, but whatever. Uh, you know, I'm happy to help the kid out. Hopefully he'll van uh, or enjoy his van thing. Anyhow. Got all this welded up. Well, the best I can. To weld up inside there, you got my right hand from behind there and, and I'm peeking up over here and you know. So just like everything else I've done in here when the car's on its side, I'll just, I'll, I'm gonna double weld on, on the other side as well. Grind it down, um, seam seal it and all that. So I'll, I'll catch it on the flip side and, and it's, in other words. But right now I'm gonna grind this down get this bracket back in and we'll move on over to that menagerie where's it at I can't see it somebody ought to, okay that right there there you go yeah somebody ought to teach jump box about lighting for videos no you can't teach me nothing I know that all right be back All right, <clears throat> well, about as good as I can get up here and weld, I did, uh, and grind. So it's a little bit pity up there. I'm not too concerned with it because I'm going to re-weld, like I said, on the bottom side, inside the fender weld when the car is on the side. This will all be right, right in my face, and it would be easier to get in and weld on the back side, you know, uh, and make sure it's solid. If I want it to be nicer than that, you know, I mean, a little drawer glass never hurt anybody. I'll, uh, you know, I'll be doing some of that all on all this stuff anyway. You know, a little bit of bodywork action, not a big deal. So, this being the piece that I took out, there's uh, one drain hole, but the rest is spot welds. So, I'm, I'm good on the bottom. I can just weld those back in. I've basically got it. When I get it in the right place, it's shaped how it needs to be. Um, the problem is, I've drilled through up here. If you see, that's where the bracket used to be. Set back just a little bit right here. So I figure if I can just nudge her like that, it looks nicer to me. And I got some metal there. I can weld, you know, spot welds. Only difference being there'll be holes on the back side of this that you'll never see. Of course, after after all this stuff is done, uh, uh, any of these joints and like laps like this will will thin out some poor 15, nice and thin, thin as air, right, <laughs> so to speak, and get it get it all wicked down in there and and rust treat that, and it'll never have another problem. So, oh well, off to the next thing. Let me get that in, and we're going to call this a video. We'll worry about the other side on the next video, because, you know, it just gets it just gets long. Well, there you go. Spot welded in. Patch put in. Done deal. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pretty proud of myself you know I didn't think I had an issue here and I looked a little closer guess what sure did so this goes to show you when you're working with an old barn that Sometimes the storm blew through just a minute ago, and I thought, man, this is the time that this barn's going to cave in on me. It needs some work. 
you know. It doesn't take much, really, to do, do some cool stuff. Let's turn that light off. Okay, close enough. So, we'll go ahead and show you this other side next week. Let's go ahead and get this one on posted up so you all can see some more stuff. Again, I think everybody, everybody who's subscribed that, you know, watches and comments and gives me likes and all that, I'd really like to, you know, in my working retirement age, say 10 years from now, uh, that's kind of the plan, uh, be able to use a little bit of YouTube, uh, at least a little YouTube income to help me build my cars because I'm always going to do it. I'll be out here in a wheelchair painting cars. Yep, we're going to paint this one right in here. It might take a couple years. You see how fast I go, you know. But hey, thanks for watching everybody. Again, look down in the description for some uh, channels that I like to watch. Uh, give them guys a shout out. Let them know I sent you. Uh, you know, let's all have a bunch of fun. We'll hang out again next week. We'll do a little something. See you on the next one. Bye.